Welcome back to Universal Andy. Woo! It is February 7th and 8th, 2023. Yay! Mardi Gras! Universal Studios. Here we are inside the Universal Studios Mardi Gras Tribute Store where they sell all things Mardi Gras. It has been uh, a very long time since we did Mardi Gras. We've done it once, but it was forever mm-hmm. ago. Yeah, in like 2009? Yeah. Nine? And it's King only Gator. gotten bigger ten. since then. Okay. Was it 2009 or 10? It was quite a while ago. Quite a while. Oh no, it definitely had to be 10, 10 or 11. Uh, we seem to have a blast. What's that say? Mm-hmm. 30. Okay, I really did want one of these masks. They range anywhere from 15 to $45. But I could not make up my mind. And I said, okay, I'm just going to sleep on it and we'll come back and get one later. And guess who forgot? There's so much going on. We were there for a good week. Things happened. If you can tell that our voices are a little off, we got ill on this vacation. So towards the end, well, not even really towards the end, right in the middle for me. And then the end for the boys. But we did the best of it. Yeah. You know. So this is why we're doing a video with the first two days, basically. (laughs) Yeah, Mardi Gras. Exclusive only. This one's 20. And I know this is a little shaky. I don't have a stabilizer. Um, It's also just a phone camera. It's not good. It is. This is my phone. (laughs) What do I care? (laughs) You make do with what this you This is got. a day in the life of Andy, okay? <laughs> Deal with it. Really simple one. I didn't um, that. I can't see what my glasses No, are. practice. I just need to practice more. Yep. I mean, so, we do have a little stabilizer doodle. Yep, but we just kept 15. not using it. All no, that we much. have a stand. We don't have a stabilizer. Yeah, it doesn't really stabilize, but it, mm-hmm. it's like a little salty stick thingy. Like it helps, one. though, because yeah. I'm pretty wiggly. But anyways, I never could decide on one. one oh, that one's kind of cute, too. Wow, it's a today, Junior. Finally got it back on. It was difficult holding a camera and picking up things and trying to read the pricing and I have my glasses on okay anything that is just a couple of feet in front of my face I need glasses on to see it but something like in on my phone or a book that's up close to my face I have to take my glasses off to see that so I think that one was my favorite overall I just gravitate towards the greens so it's a struggle for me to see near and far it's like glasses on, glasses off, glasses on, glasses off. Your back hurts? No, 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 no. Where's your back, Fanny? Oh, you have it. Okay. Oh, yeah, that was the first thing we had to do is go get Weston a bum bag. I shouldn't call it a fanny pack because <laughs> I guess that's a different word in another country. But anyways, here in America, I had to go get Weston his little bum bag. Yeah. And um, he chose minions. He loves them. I wanted him to start carrying his own uh, phone and headphones. Yeah, his little items that he needs. My back is heavy, you know. I did love the music that was going on in here. All right. And throughout the parks, they always have like this Mardi Gras jazzy music. Mm -hmm. Here are some of the beads you can get. You buy these ones. Oh, that's the one I got. <laughs> Three for 15. Spoiler alert. <laughs> I guess I'm supposed to say that before. <laughs> yeah, I got the ducks. I got duckos. Yeah. I love my duckies. Okay, so is that like a little lobster or was that a little crawfish? No. I don't know. Yeah. It wasn't a shrimp. Oh, the alligator. Not with that attitude. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah. They have some know. really cute ones. And they were only um all of three these for fifteen. Yeah, even like the ones that are like really big that have really big ornaments on them. Mm-hmm. They're all three for fifteen. Or oh, one wow. for a price of which I can't remember. 
Like six, I think. I don't know. You save by, you know, buying three, obviously. But we limited ourselves. We each only bought one because we plan on going to another Mardi Gras down the road and getting another. Yeah, maybe getting some more, some that we don't got. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That one right there with the big round bobbles. And the fleur de lay or fleur de lis or however you say that word, fleur de lis. I don't know. That one was cute. See, I went right past like headbands and stuff and didn't. I don't know why I didn't stop to look. And yeah. I mean, they had a bunch of cute ones. Yeah, this is like the Yay. Yeah, little jester hat. I got me my that jester hat. It's black and white with like the red. I I love it. Little jingle bells at the tips of them. I love it. I, I love it. I, I really, really do. I like jester things. So like if you hear me um, say they're jiggling, baby, that's because it is an LL Cool J song about earrings that jiggle and make noise and then other things but also um the gestures that were on that the stilt walkers mm -hmm. that had the jester hats on they had little jingle bells at the end and you could hear them coming up so you yeah that was so cute but i was so afraid that like all the beads would snag it Oh. Or if you washed it, it would really just mess oh, it up. Oh, that's a hand wash only. There's no yeah. way you could throw that. In. That doesn't yeah, rival. <laughs> mm -hmm. They had everything Mardi Gras themed. So if you want like a, a Mardi Gras souvenir, go to the tribute store. It's the mm -hmm. one stop it's, shop. Yeah, you can buy this stuff in a couple of the other stores, but it's more special to go into the tribute store. They even have the yep. box. For twenty. Yeah. It's pretty neat. Mm-hmm. Jeez, twenty-eight for that little bag. Um, we'll get him the one X. We got him a one X shirt. Sounds like it. It does sound like it. God, I hope it don't shrink. He's just tall. Yeah, we're both tall. Mm -hmm. They need it for length, not width. width. So this is like that speakeasy portion, but mm -hmm. we were like hoping that you would be able to get like some drinks here, but not like non-alcoholic drinks. Oh, there's that Kevin YouTuber, Kevin something. I can't think of it. And super enthused Jackie and Sam. And some of the treats and their prices. Okay, that says macaroons. Aren't they macarons? Macarons? Oh. I thought runes were the coconut ones. I don't know, it might be a how you make them type yeah, thing. Well, I make macarons and they don't have coconut in them unless you make a coconut macaron. Oh, I spotted the Pew 2, Tyler and Anna. It is, Tyler. I believe it is. They have a great YouTube channel, y'all. Got some treats. Mm -hmm. I will say, I was tempted to get the chocolate crocodile. I was too. I was too. an English toffee assortment. Just trying the different candy bars is like a thing of ours yeah we did end up getting like a bunch of like the weirder ones too mm -hmm. on this trip yeah we'll do that in the next video though yeah we we have like food mm -hmm. and stuff yeah we'll have a food video own. coming out it's, we ate so much oh yeah, my god so you'll hear our take i mean okay so for starters annual pass holders which we are do you want something in here? can get a food and drink card worth $150 for only $120. That's a $30 extra savings, yeah. you know? And 30, that, 30 bucks extra. 
And we got several of them. And there is an option for everyone where there's a $75 card for only like 65, mm-hmm. 60. Something yeah, if you're not an email pass holder. So but. you do technically save a little bit, but you save more. And they worked almost everywhere we went on City Walk, but we'll talk about that in the food video. Yeah. Are you okay? And they work in the parks. Yeah. Ah. Uh, yeah, we're wearing my duster hat, my ducks. Listen, let's see what you got. I also got an uh, hourglass ah. in there. Really cool hourglass. Oh yeah, with the skulls. Yeah, I got the dusters. It's on display downstairs in the living room next to our Goonies board game. It's a real nice hourglass. <laughs> Just fit. You're just a sight, let me tell you. Yes, I love it. I loved it so much. I do too. I love my jester hat. It was ducks. amazing. You and I, we just don't care. No, nope. <laughs> there's no reason to. We're just going to be us. Yeah. Want to this is our world. These other people just happen to be living in it. You up for some ube? Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, that ube. Ooh, that's so good. It was. It was good ube. Yeah, we were just winging it this day. Trying to decide where to go, what to do. I mean, in general. Mm-hmm. Yup. And we did. We went to Simpsons and we went and got Uber, but that will be in another video. Yeah. You'll you'll hear our takes on some of the things that we tried. We didn't I try love... everything, but mm-hmm. we tried a good amount. I love how Scooby and the gang have their Mardi Gras gear on. And just the jazz music playing on the streets, you know, throughout the park. I love that, too. Here in Hollywood. Well, it's pretty much playing all throughout. Mm-hmm. And studios. It doesn't do that over at Islands. They don't. I mean, they have specialized there. music for their areas. Because mm-hmm. it's a little bit more immersive. But, oh, man, when Epic comes out, that looks super immersive. Mm-hmm. I love that before the parade, the um, dancers and stilt walkers will come out and get everyone hyped up. They want you to line up for the parade and everything. They let you know when it is. Yeah, I don't know when they start coming out. Yeah, I heard that guy coming a mile away. Those bells were really loud. I don't know if my phone picked it up or not, but. And then you have another jiggly boy. Jigglies. There's a rope up here too. Little jingle jangles. The jiggling baby. God, that song's gonna be stuck in my head. Yeah. And they're also very nice. Ooh, hey. And they want you to take pics and videos. Yeah, it's some of them love the attention. They really. <laughs> I mean. Some of them do. They look cool. Look how cool some of them are. Happy she was a doll. Ooh, thank you. Just a sweet little doll. I like yours too, you little shrimp. They're so cute. It's a video, sorry. <laughs> they're adorable. See you later. Yep. And some of them are just excellent dancers. But I just love how they're all throughout the park getting people ready for it and taking photos and stuff. I hear the band. <laughs> they're great. This is by the French Quarter, or by uh, Gramercy. Mm-hmm. A lot of the classic Mardi Gras food is in this area. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you'll see some booths down there. If my camera ever goes to it. Yep. <laughs> For like half a second. There's some uh, parade video. It's the police. Bye-bye. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> and this might just be a me thing. Like, I can't see the rest of the park, but I'm wearing my jester hat, and it feels like I'm, like, I was really into the bit. And it's like everyone kept throwing beads at us a whole yes. lot. Yes, because he was all geared up. He, and he's so tall. He stood out. And people noticed Ashton right away and were just 
yeah, he had a lot of beads thrown towards him just because, you know. And also, if you're moving around and dancing and you got your arms up and you're waving your hands, that gets their attention as well. Super introvert, by the way. Yes, we are. And, um, but the music is so good. You can't help it. I mean, they're all coming down dancing, and this is why my footage is shaky because I'm dancing. <laughs> Like, my hips could not stay still for nothing. <laughs> Nor my hands. And then there'll be footage of the concrete ground because I had to pick up a beat that I didn't quite catch that was thrown at me. Yeah. Lord knows I wasn't recording this. I was just enjoying the parade. Like, all the times that I'm like, whoa, yay. Like, take a sip of water. You'll be well hydrated. Because <laughs> I do it a lot in this video. It's funny. <laughs> Yeah, and this is also a, a good area because apparently when it comes to like the beat throwers when you're on like this first little runaway down like Hollywood Boulevard and by like the Universal Store they go beat crazy apparently they really throw out the beats during like the first little bit well it's a 45 minute parade and it goes all around through the park pretty much like yeah. there will be some at the end but definitely less apparently well, we did two nights. The first night that we flew in and the second yeah, night. Yeah, this one. This one was like during the day and the next one, which is at night, the night one. You want mm -hmm. to see it at night. It's so much better. Well, because then you can see all the lights uh -huh. better. It's just a better atmosphere. Well, I like them both. Here you can see the details in the floats. You just don't True. see the lights. True. And then when you do it at night, you see all the lights. You don't see all the detail in the floats. I like doing both. Um, you could not step out onto the street. You could not. Yeah. That's why we have this little worker. She was nice, the one in the blue. And occasionally the people walking the route, you know, some of them will pick up beads and throw at people. Mm -hmm. This year Universal had, um, was very inclusive, like all sizes, shapes, colors. I mean, they were very inclusive, and I loved it. I mean, you just felt like you belonged. Yeah, it's just a good time. <laughs> the two uh, blonde ladies next to us were a hoot. There were some two girls that kept trying to get in between us. And we had saved that spot. We got there, like, what, 40 minutes early? And got that spot, and these yeah. girls are just wanting to walk up midway through the parade and try and scooch in. No, no, honey, you will find you a new spot. Ain't happening like that. <laughs> you can stand behind me, but you're not gonna try and push me over. Like, no. <laughs> I best have caught that one. Yay, thank you. <laughs> You know, their costumes are different every year. I mean, yeah, they're bad. Different Sometimes things. they're just slightly changed up. And, yeah. But. Because, you know, last year was what? Space themed, kind of? I like this one better. There was unicorns. Yeah, this one was uh, <laughs> mythical creatures. Like, I love everything unicorns and rainbows and vibrant colors and just happiness. <laughs> I feel like making ew cooties. <laughs> I'm a little girl. At heart, I really am. I love all that girly stuff. Yeah, the two blonde ladies were really nice. But the other two young girls thought they could just... Like, literally, we are like shoulder to so shoulder. And they just thought they could try and budge it. Like, no, honey, there's no room here for you. And you can't step onto the street. Mm -hmm. And they do throw the beads far. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, my filming this is terrible. <laughs> and I just didn't think oh about God. it.
They curved me up. Yeah, you get a lot of the you get a lot of the classics. So I just want to dance now. My my chair is probably making noises. <laughs> I don't know. It usually doesn't pick up the chair squeaks. Oh, good. <laughs> I, I move a lot. Cheers. Good about that. Old uh, settings. Mm -hmm. I've tuned them. Actually, I thought on our second night we were more towards the end of the parade line, and it wasn't bad either. Um, there were like a couple floats that went by that were completely out of beads, but we ended up with more beads on the second night. It's, I don't know why. I mean, I also got a lot, and then again, I was also still a little justice fellow. Mm-hmm. You look great. You look great. I love it. You had some floats that had say, had extra beads, so they are throwing them towards the end, and then you had some that were completely out because they threw them all at the beginning. Yeah. So I think it kind of evens itself out, maybe. I don't know. No. It depends. Yeah, I didn't recognize anyone on these floats on this first night. But I spotted some YouTubers on the second night. Yeah, because... Uh, Promise Hope was on a float with, um, oh my god, like, LV, why well, I, I cannot remember that girl's channel, but she's got the blonde hair. Because I feel like that videos. night was probably the, hey, YouTubers, let's all <laughs> do this night. Well, could have been, because we did have some, yeah. Because, you know... We did have some sightings. Yeah. Yay! Happy Mardi Gras! Yeah. If they see you like recording, they definitely some of them love to come up. Yeah. I hope they see these because I think they're all great. I love them. These people just made my day. Yeah, I'm totally dancing because this is shaky right here. <laughs> And it may not be very loud here in the video. The, the phone may not have picked it up, but it's pretty loud. And I feel like when it's darker, the music's louder. Maybe. Or maybe it's just this area that we were in. I don't know. Being between the buildings, like Transformer. And maybe like Echo Effect or something. Because we were close to Battery Park. Yep. Oh, then this tree talk? Yeah. Hold on. Oh, it's really crowded. Not mushroom up here. <laughs> Not mushroom up here. And you even went all. <laughs> I know, I loved it. Okay, honestly, if this is like a 45 minute parade and they're on them stilts it was 45 for us because we were near the beginning so we could kind of walk out because they have to do like almost an entire lap no it no it's 45 all the way around the park it's not 45 for us yeah it's 45 oh. all the way around uh, I, on day two it felt like 45 minutes because we could hear the parade and we were in our spot but it took a long time for it to come around to us it felt longer mm-hmm but um, Google says that the stilt walkers make $19 an hour, uh, and they're out way before the parade starts. Oh. And they're moving and grooving and dancing throughout that whole parade. That's a workout, you guys. That's incredible that they can do that for so long. I mean, they have to love this job, the stilt walkers do. Because $19 an hour to me doesn't sound like a lot. Yes. Oh. Oh, see, I love that. Size inclusive. Woo! Love that. She's hot. Oh, yeah. Okay. Those costumes are cool. Yeah, like the sea that, serpents. Yeah, serpent. that iridescence, like. Bioluminescence. <laughs> that's, that's what it's like for sea creatures. 
It's just cool. Okay. I know big words. <laughs> yeah, see, you can't see all those light, but this one's a pretty cool one. I love the confetti cannons. I love when confetti cannons go off, you guys. Uh, I feel like the people on the floats also <laughs> love them. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Like, it makes me wonder how many other YouTube channels are out there. I know there's hundreds, but the algorithm just won't display them to you. I, I, a big part is consistency, uh -huh. I feel. I don't know. You just gotta keep up. talent, like, I mean, if you have good equipment. Like, you need to make a good video. <laughs> not me, y'all, not me. <laughs> yeah, the, one of us is an editor. That's him. I'm over here just recording for fun. He's looking at that finger already in the shot. We yeah. see that finger in the shot a whole bunch of times. Yeah, we're not a pro over here. We're just working with, you know, my regular cell phone that did not cost me a thousand dollars because I don't roll like that. Hey man, you notice whenever the videos rotate and they stabilize? Yeah, I, I did that. That's right, yay! Because I wasn't smart enough to have them at the right angle to start with. And, I, and I'd have to flip my phone around real quick like, oops, wrong angle. <laughs> he fixed it. <laughs> I'm learning still, but... Okay, I had to pick up beads. You don't see that because... But anytime you see concrete, it's because I'm picking up beads. <laughs> I missed. Yeah. I love that. It also seemed like different floats had different colored beads. You know, you have your classic <laughs> golds, greens, pinks. Okay, I wanted the pink ones so bad. We came home with only two pink beads. Yeah, you have these ones that, like throughout these like pastel ones, these like blues, these um I got some silvers. I got these four reds. different shades of green beads and I loved it because you know I na I navigate towards the greens. But yeah. And of course the purple and the gold. Yeah. So But yeah, it was fun to get some blue ones. We got a couple blue ones. That's like an amalgam float of all the creatures on it. I love it. Woo! Yeah! Woo! <laughs> Again, like, I love the best tagging. That was cute. Like even now, there are still some things that's like, I feel like we should have done this, but I'm still not sure. Like, I almost feel like we should have gotten one of the boils. No yes! Way. We'll talk about that in the food video. You're right. We should have. Uh, you yeah. know. Or too many. Mm -hmm. There were a, a few tents that, or a few um, areas that we didn't go to that I wish we had. But we would have if I hadn't gotten sick. So. Or if we were just doing other things that day. I think we would have if I hadn't gotten sick because I really lost momentum after I got sick. I'm gonna feel that. And towards the end, we were also kind of just wanting to rest a little mode. Well, you guys got sick at the end. Yeah, that too. So, yeah, once you guys woke up sick, y'all were just not feeling it. <laughs> Weren't feeling it. I mean, it can happen. Man, I'm just having a hoot and a holler of a time, aren't I? Mm -hmm. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> so funny. I'm not the only one, y'all. Everyone around was yeah. smiling. A lot of people were dancing. Like, I know you look across and see the other side and they're all kind of standing there. 
Not our side. Our side was moving. Oh. No. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Yeah, these colds are knocking us in the end. We're... It's kind of lingering. I love the confetti cannons. It's so fun to be under one, though. That's the greatest time, is to be under one when they go off. That is a pretty float. That's uh, the uh, king and queen float, I want to say. And here I am at the ground again. Oh, almost. Yeah, king and queen float. Yeah, it is. So I'm still not sure if that's something we want to do. I don't know. Yeah, you can sign up to throw beads. Yeah, and there's like a... There's a dinner option that you sign up for, and then there's a standby option that you can sign up for. And I think the standby option is free. Yeah, but I feel like you're also, for some reason, more likely to get in if you do the dot. Okay, here's some talent right here. There's another one right there. The crab's getting it. The crab's getting it. Yeah, Woo! crab, crawfish, shrimp. Yay! Yeah! Lobster. I think he's a crawfish. He's a crawfish. There's the gator. No, oh no, it's towards the end. The parade always ends with King Gator. Yep. There's my finger in the shot again because I'm a professional. <laughs> Not. Ooh, that's definitely a 1990s I mean, reference. Not. <laughs> it takes some discipline and just consistency. Hey, I'm shocked I got this much video, okay? <laughs> I was living in the now. <laughs> I mean, I know when I take living in the moment. <laughs> photos or video, I'm usually in the habit of the sideways one to get a fuller picture. But. You know, I kind of just had the camera out in the air Sometimes and just was like hoping for the best and this is what I got and I was actually quite proud of that because I was more concerned about catching my beads that day. Because <laughs> yeah, sometimes you don't plan on taking a photo and you're like, ooh, I want to take a picture of this and you take out your phone. Click. Uh, you do get to see all those colors on King Gator there. There's all sorts of colors. Look at that. Big old yeah, I know King Gator is beautiful. I feel like the first year we saw King Gator, he was mostly green. He has gotten more colorful over the years. I'm not sure I remember the first parade though. I know you have pictures. I'm just like, yeah, there's me dancing. Okay, second night, second parade. Yeah, night. Kind of, you know, some of the jesters were coming up to a fellow <laughs> jester, such as myself. Yup. Yeah, we're, um, yeah. the walkers were coming up to you a lot. <laughs> I was unique. I was doing a bit. They appreciated the commitment to the bit. Yes. <laughs> you got to commit to the bit. Commit to the bit. I was committed. Yeah, see, so you don't see them all lit up like that during the day. I, I, I'm more of a night person, so. Yeah, I think I'm, I want to do both. I'm still on the fence. I want to see it during the day. I want to see it at night. Hi. Yes. <laughs> Looking good. Boop. <laughs> Boop. That was, that was funny. <laughs> yeah, your uniform. I love it. I love it. The fiber optics of the of the main. Or the neon mm -hmm. or whatever. Oh, this guy was amazing. Yeah, you can tell he loves the camera. He is good go. at his job. Fantastic job. Woo! Love it. <laughs> he is there to pump you up. <laughs> Oh, when she got up close, her costume just 
was mesmerizing to me. Yeah, see. <laughs> I mean, he's not the first one that did that. The first one that did it was a jester, and I didn't get it on camera. I was so disappointed in myself. Yeah, because at the same time, I'm very tall. I come up to them. Yes. <laughs> like. Yes. You know? Like, when you see the back end of some of those floats, they are really lit up bright. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I told the king that I got him a jester. Happy yep. Beautiful. Woo! Yeah. We had a lot of interaction that this night, and I kept missing it. <laughs> I didn't get it all on film. I was trying, though. Know. Comes the gator. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I hate that I didn't get it on video, but Nate with Paging Mr. Morrow was on this float and he threw beads at me. But guess what? He got it on his video, so it is on YouTube. Y'all need to go and watch it. Yeah, she tried. And to I'm zoom trying in. to zoom in. Was and it a little heart. You barely see Promise Hope right there. And um, I, I couldn't get in, zoomed in in time for, like, yeah. <laughs> so here we are at home watching it. Here it is, guys. Yeah. Go watch this video. That's Nate, Paging Miss Tomorrow. Because I was just screaming, Miss Tomorrow! I was so excited. There. Boom, caught the beads. Bitty bam. Yeah, I was so excited to see him. And then to be in his video. Oh, and the Pew too. We ran into them on our way out and I got to speak with them for a little bit and they took a photo with me. I was so happy. It was a good night. And um, this is where we end. So thanks for watching. Yep. See ya. Bye.